Hello and welcome to Let's Play Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. Probably one of my, actually it is, my very favorite Looney Tunes game of all time. So this is why I'm doing this. And I am excited. Uh, as you can see, I've got a file started. That was just to practice to get the controls right. I have beaten the game before, obviously, but that was just a test. So why don't we start a new game? I'm not going to talk during the cutscenes because I love them. So I will see you after the intro. Be right back. Oh, nope. <laughs> okay, now I'll be right No. <laughs> now I'll be right back. Here I am, Pismo Beach. Hey, wait a minute. This doesn't look like Pismo Beach. I probably should have turned right at Albuquerque and... Ooh, look at the size of this carrot juice dispenser. Alright, so... That was pretty much the intro. A little short, but here we are. Um, so basically, you know, lost in time. So, premise done. Another cutscene. Here we go. Be right back again. Maybe the person who lives in the silo will tell me where I'm at and how to get out of being at here. Come right in. How do you do? My name is Merlin, and I'm a sorcerer. Yeah? Really? A sorcerer? Come on, let me see a sorcerer. Huh? Please, please? Of course. Anything to oblige a guest. <laughs> You know, that's a good trick, Moyle, old Goyle. Can you do this one? That gave him a hobby, but I still ain't nearer to my natural habitat. Uh, sorry to interrupt this entertaining demonstration, but uh, can you tell me where I am? It seems that you are lost in time, my dear. Here, it's nowhere. Nowhere? And do you know how I could get back to, uh, somewhere? Of course I know. You must go from one era to another and find symbols like this. They will open you new locations and will progressively lead you back to present time. All right. Listen carefully, Rabbit. Get ten of these objects to receive a clock symbol. That's it for now. Bye. Yeah, goodbye. It seems the audio got a little uh, out of sync there. I'll fix that. I don't know what that was about. Anyway, welcome. Now we are at a uh, t -t -t tutorial. That's the word. Tutorial. A lot? So, before we start, you know, getting stuff, I want to say a lot of that audio was from one of the original cartoons. Uh, I had it written down and I forgot what it was. Pre... no. Ah! I'll put it, like, on the screen. I forgot the name of it. I just saw it and I forgot what it was. That's... this is gonna drive me nuts, so hold on. I'm gonna... wait, what was it? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. It's fine. Anyway, a lot of that was from that short with Merlin and Bugs, and it got a little cut out, which makes me sad, but that's okay. These things happen. Let's learn how to play the game. Uh, V. Okay, the controls stayed in my, from my practice file. Thank God. There is a sparkling object up there. I never look at this. I always skip it. Ah. So, we need ten of those to receive a clock symbol from Merlin. Moyle or Goyle. Uh, ooh, get that. No, okay, okay I got it. <laughs> ooh, no, no, jump, jump, bugs, thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me get down before I do that. Uh, so it says you can do this, you can see what you got. One clock to get for all these. Here we go. Uh, ah. While you're running, try the roll action. It can be used as an attack against enemies. It does seem like the audio is getting a little choppy. I don't... Ooh, and the music skips on its own. Uh, press A to roll. Yeah. Use 
use the jump or kick action to defeat some enemies. Combine both actions for some other one. Other ones. Game. What is wrong with you? Press D key. D key. D key. You jump on the head and F to throw. You can do this, but you can also roll, which I prefer to do, so. Psst. If you can't hurt an enemy when he's facing you, try to kick his behind. It could work. You could also try to tire him out first. When he stops, kick his behind, bunny. Or roll, which I'm gonna do, because it's faster. Looks like you get a little boost from oh, let's see, like this. Ta-da! Alright, where uh let's go over here and get this out of oh uh did I collect okay. Be, um carrots are important. Let's collect the ass. Actually, no, let's just do this since I'm here. You can move some objects using the push action. They can be used as a step to reach a too high ground or object. Like that. A conveniently placed carrot. So, let us... Let us, carrot, let us... Okay, anyway. That was, that was really dumb. You don't need all these boxes. You only need two of them. One goes here. Don't throw it, thank you. Sometimes I have a habit of throwing these... Yeah, I, I didn't need to read that. I could have. And then this goes here. And this. I think they want you to put another one down, but you can just jump up here. Goes here. And this goes here. Ta da! On oh, the signs change to carrots when you get them. These aren't in anywhere else in the game, just here. You can use objects like mallets to bust an enemy, but do it fast. It works for a short time. V and F. Okay. Good, because I always forget the key for this. Eh. Yeah. I did that a lot faster than I thought it would. Let's get this out of the way, because I don't like this one. To land on explosive objects like TNT boxes without injuries, use the HEARS action to softly land on it. Did he say HEARS? Like, oh, helicopter ear. Oh, I never thought about that. I never listened to those either. Okay, D and then S. I think I landed in between. Yep. How did I do that? Oh, magnificent. Thank you. Try again. Whoa, I'm inside the log. Okay, D and then- No! Oh, D and S, not D and F. God. Yes, this is the PC version. I wish I was playing on the PlayStation, because I actually can play that version. D and then S. I changed the controls specifically so I could play functionally. Oh, well, at least I got it. And then I'm forgetting the controls. Ooh, hold on. Well, this thing is a checkpoint. See? Checkpoint. It's also a save thing once you come back to it after you hit the checkpoint. Bounce on some enemies to reach inaccessible objects or ground. By the way, I never said voice actors in this game are wonderful. Billy West is bugs, and I believe that's Jess Harnell as Merlin. I could be wrong about that. Again, I'll put it on the screen if I remember it. Nightmare Hair! I remember the name. Nightmare Hair. That's the name of the cartoon with Merlin and Bugs and the knight that tries to kill Bugs. Anyway. You can pick up objects and throw them to enemies. You can also pick them up, move them, and drop them somewhere else. So I said, oh, Nightmare Hair. Yeah, I, I literally watched it before this and I couldn't remember the name. <laughs> Just for a little bit of research. Okay, okay, two. Yeah, this way. To avoid awakening someone, use the sneak action. It can also be used on fragile grounds. I keep going to things in the middle of my sentences. Like, literally, this whole area is off a nightmare here. Oh, that's not. No. There. Anyway, yeah. So we gotta crouch our way over. <laughs> Tiptoe through the garden. I believe I can roll, but I don't risk it. <laughs> Okay, one more golden carrot. Car 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 carrot. By the way, 99 regular carrots can buy you a golden carrot later in the game, so you have to collect these things. Jump and press the dive action over a rabbit hole to get under the ground. To exit, reach a hole, and jump. I'll explain what I mean by buys the carrots when we get to a hub world, so to speak. Let me get this over here. Carrots do respawn once you come back to a level, like, you just 
farm carrots if you want, which is necessary. I'm gonna do some- oh wait, no, here. You have no lives, so don't worry about that. That'll take me closer to here without going across the bridge again. Alright, we got- we got everything, right? Okay, let's go meet Moyle and get our stuff. Hopefully the audio won't desync. Pick this one up to start your quest. It opens the Stone Age era. Get in and there, choose one of the opened entrances. Visit all of them and get back all the hidden clocks they contain. Great! Thanks, Moyle. Anything else? Uh, yes. Of course, picking up carrots will raise up your energy. That's it for now. We'll probably meet again somewhere in time. Time traveling is one of my favorite hobbies. I'll teach more later, time traveler. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, my... Collecting symbols. Well, why not? After all, they laughed at the man when he discovered the penicillin. That line, that line right there, that was from the short. A lot of these are, like that whole intro thing. Anyway, uh, that will do it for the tutorial. <laughs> Again, the audio cut off. Thanks, Mo- And then, just gone. <laughs> Where is the time machine? Where is the time machine? Where is- oh. <laughs> Forgot where it was for a second. Right, I'm gonna show off this. Hello, travel hair. Let me save your position. Thanks, Moyle. Bye. Yeah, goodbye, Moyle. There, save the game. Now, um, in the next episode, we will venture off uh, on to the first time period to go to. Which is, let me just go and show you. I can find it. Uh, yeah, the Stone Age, and guess who is there? Anyway, next time we will go to the Stone Age and meet an old friend. Literally, old, because time. Ah! See you next time. That was really dumb. On this way, Bugs Bunny, lost in time. Thank you, bye bye.